What's up, everybody? We're from 1985 here. Sorry, I have not made a video in a long time, and uh, but <clears throat> I just thought I'd give my thoughts on the truck series race from Knoxville last uh, night. But I mean, I reckon I, mean, I realize you know that was the Knoxville race. That was I mean, there was a lot of hype to it. And I admit I was a little bit hyped to see how the trucks was gonna do at, at Knoxville, Iowa. Because it was a, it's been a sprint car track for decades upon decades upon decades, and after the whole race was over, which I honestly never thought the race was gonna, actually thought the race was not gonna, was never gonna be over with. I thought by about two o'clock in the morning, it, the whole thing was still gonna go on and on, and thanks to that BS unlimited cautions thing, you know, it's like you know, or unlimited green white checkered tries let's put it that way which i think first of all was that right that whole unlimited green white checkers to get a green light green flag finish here get rid of it that's all i can say on that one and i and and that nash and not nashville but knoxville truck race should it was pretty much indicative of that rule and then i mean and so as from what I've seen of that, I actually didn't watch the first part of it because I mean, because I mean, you know, the race that whole thing was going on while SmackDown was going on. I actually turned over after SmackDown, but uh, the racing itself was my, my impressions on that racing. The racing was good in the truck in the trucks at Knoxville. It was really good. Uh, I'm actually happy with the winner, Austin Hill. My congratulations to him on that whole on that race. I actually felt for. One, I actually felt for Derek Krause because, I mean, he had a truck that probably could have won and he spun about middle of the late in the race. And then I thought Chandler Smith had it and then and then he lost it in the late laps. But, um, but anyway, but, uh, so anyway, <clears throat> the racing I had no problem with it at Knoxville. I mean, as far as the trucks was concerned, but, now as far as, but, the reason why I thought that race was never going to end because it was the last supposedly what was going to be the last two laps of the race, which they ran, which I think they did like, I think it was like four tries, I think, at the green white checkered. I thought, yeah, it was four, it was four, it was four tries at the green white checkered. It was restart, crash, restart, crash, restart, crash. I thought, come on, guys. It's, it was about 11.30. Actually, actually, it was way past that. It was, about, it was about almost midnight when that race ended, where I'm at at least. <clears throat> but they just would not stop crashing on the on the green white checker restarts, and that's why they had four of them. I thought the whole thing was – that's why I thought the whole thing was going to end at about 2 o'clock in the morning at, at the latest – and so, you know, I mean, you had the, fir the first try of the green white checkers when the 17 hooked the 34 and caused about a 15, almost 20 truck pile up. And it's like, and I thought, I thought it's going to be one of those races, isn't it? And then, sure enough, you know, the second try, some, uh, or somebody took Stuart Friesen out, coming off turn number two and caused the yellow flag to happen. And then another restart had another crash. And, there, and, there, and then the fourth try was when they finally got the whole thing ended, the whole thing over with, I should say, and Austin Hill, as I mentioned, won the race. And like I said, my congratulations to him on that. Because he had a, was, I mean, I mean, he had a, he was at the right place at the right, right time and then passed Chandler Smith late in the race to do so. But, um, but he had a lot of banged up trucks in that whole thing too. It was uh, it was just nuts, you know. The, so I mean, but I mean, short track racing, dirt nighttime dirt short track racing. I mean, what do you expect, you know? Especially the drivers you got in NASCAR nowadays. But what can you do? And then, um, and I think a lot of people were not. Some people were not really pleased about the whole race too. You know, I mean, I mean, my here's what I think. You know, you know my my. My verdict on the whole thing: get them out of Knoxville, as well. Look at it. I mean, I mean, bring them to Iowa Speedway or uh, IRP. I'm, and I'm, yes, I'm one of those people who says bring back IRP for the trucks and Xfinity. I mean, 
ARCA still races at IRP, and so does, I mean, and SRX put on a pretty good race there last Saturday. You know, why, what's the problem with putting them, with, with taking them out of the brickyard and moving it to IRP? What's the, what's wrong with that? That's all I can say, but, but anyway, um, but what can you do, like I said, but the overall scale, scale of one out of ten, scale of one to ten, you know, I'd probably give that race maybe a four. The four of it being, uh, and that was mainly, mainly, it was mainly because of the good racing you had, but like everything else in, in night, I mean, they did a heck of a lot better at Eldora than they did at Knoxville. They, they did, they did better at the Bristol Dirt Track even, and, and even that was kind of questionable as far as that was concerned, you know, but, but yeah, Knoxville, I mean, like I said, Knoxville, Iowa track, you know, keep that track for SRX and for the World of Outlaws and any, and like Dirt Outlaw, Dirt, Dirt Modifieds, anything, but take NASCAR out of the whole thing, will you? So, I mean, experiment, I thought, was a failure, and I don't know, and I mean, what are your thoughts on the race? I mean, get, I mean, let me know in the comments section, uh, but... But I'm not sure where the trucks race at next on the tour. But um, so there you have it. That this is Race 1985, and I'll catch you on the flip side.